Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Skaven Games Plays, a really whacked out game. This is called Spin Tires Level Up 2011 uh, by a company called Havoc, and literally it's another truck driving simulator. We'll go ahead and jump into the play here. And here are your controls. Okay, well to drive you use WASD. One is your snap camera, two is your overlook, space is your handbrake, E is your lights, enter leaves and exits, or enters and leaves the garage, escape for menu, right click for force acceleration, and uh, you press R to bring up your gearbox, and then you use your mouse to throw it in different gears. So you have reverse, slow drive with differential lock, fast drive with differential lock, and then automatic box with the open diff. So we'll go ahead and start. I already played it for a bit and I blew up my truck. I actually blew the transmission on it. So the first thing we need to do is put her in gear. So we'll put her in low gear for now. And we'll just pull her up here because we have nothing on the back, right? So we need to put a... The only thing we have is this. As you level up, you can get different things. Like I need to deliver one package and I can get that cabin cover. And then you can get cabin protector and additional eliminations. And extended log cart, whatever. Log cart platforms and crash platforms and covered platforms. So you can get all military style. And there's different trucks you can get, like this is the truck I have now, later on we can get this big bastard. And this, okay, apparently we can get a tank. So, right on. So right now we need this. So we double click, goes on the truck, return to game. So, first thing we gotta do, if you look up here on the map, there's a glowing blue box here. We need to get this box. Well, we need to basically collect all the packages that are around. So you use WASD to drive. So to get to that box, um... We'll put her in uh, differential lock high gear. Now this is sloppy sand, so you can actually dig into this and really, really get fucking stuck. But uh, we're gonna try not to do that. Take her into the water a little bit. Probably shouldn't have her in high gear back here. I'm probably just wrecking things. Can I get over there somehow? Okay, so we're going to uh, grab the transmission here, put her in low gear, and uh, let's take it off-roading. What else is kind of cool about this game is uh, when you hit a tree, like in Euro Truck Simulator and Grand Theft Auto and stuff, when you hit trees, you just fold your fucking tree right in half, right? And this one here, you don't. Holy shit, she's making it, bud. Yeah! Okay, we'll kick her in reverse here. And we'll try and get out of here. Try and find the road. Am I on the road yet? Oh fuck no. We still got a lot of it. This is the kind of game that I think Rex 4x4 would like because uh, when you get her in the mud, you really gotta work to get her out of the mud. Like you see how I just hit a tree there and I just folded the fucking thing in half? That's That's what I like about this game. Like those big trees, obviously you smash them and nothing happens. Oh, I'm stuck on something. What am I stuck on? Oh, a tree. I totally cocked this thing over, didn't I? Okay, well, let's get her into gear here. And we'll see if we can uh, lowball her out. Oh, I'm in the fucking mud. I'm in the fucking mud. Oh, yeah. Well, I could probably kick her into reverse again. Crank the wheel that way and punch her out. I'm just throwing dirt. Because I'm backed into a tree again. Ah, the road's right... Th oh, that's the crick, isn't it? That's the crick. The road's still behind me. Oh, I see what I did wrong. I'm an idiot. Okay. Punch her in the first gear here. So the fact that they... I don't know why every, it's always at night though, like... I just uproot that tree. I can hear it bending. Arrgh! Okay. 
Problem is, there's no winches in this game, right? Like... And when I first started playing this game, the only reason why I had to reset was because I blew up my transmission. Yeah, I'm really in there. I really dug myself a nice little crevice. I wish you can get better camera angles. This game is still in alpha, though. I'm like fucking dragging trees and shit. Like, look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm in there. This game would look a lot sexier if it was daytime. But it's not. Yeah, we might have to uh, restart here because I'm pretty sure I, I cocked over the program. Yeah, we're gonna restart because I'm I'm fucking big time stuck. So we'll go to main menu, play, start, yes. Back to the garage. Okay. Put on the platform, return the game. Okay, where's the box? See every time you start the packages are in different locations. So you gotta go and hunt and find the packages. And it's pretty much a mission to try and find the packages. Because you never know where the hell they're going to put them in the fields. And there's one out there. So, uh, we'll try it with automatic gearbox. Open diff and see if we can make it. And if we can't, well, not a big deal. We have the ability to lock the diff and go for it for... Alright, we got our cargo. Okay, so once you get your cargo, I'll go back up a little more. Whoa, stop. So once you get your cargo, what you do is you get back on the road, and there is a spot to drop it off. And that spot is just down the road here. Like I said, guys, this game is still in, in beta and stuff and it's just being tested out and this is a free demo you can download the link will be in the description um i just realized there's a gauge down there for engine tension that's kind of cool. that's kind of neat i don't know why the engine has tension i mean it's like uh your oh shit your stress or something but anyway this is where you go to drop off your packages now it's kind of stupid the way they got this set up because they put the fucking thing on soft sand so you can really get your your shit stuck out here if you're not smart See what I mean? So now we'll put her into balls low. And just really wreck the guy's freaking front lawn. And we'll go look for another package. So there is another package right over here. Up this little logging road. Okay, we're gonna put her into low gear here. This thing should be able to climb up here, hopefully. Hopefully! I wish the viewing angles. I wish there was one inside the cabin or something. Oh fuck, she can't make it. I'll just let her back up a bit and then punch it chewy. Maybe we'll take it a little wider or something. Now obviously people who've done this in real life... Am I hitting a fucking tree? Yes, I am. Now obviously people who've actually, you know, done this kind of shit in real life, you're going to know a little bit more about the physics and... This game does follow a pretty good physics engine, so you guys are going to be like, oh shit, all you need to do is do this and you can get around these problems and stuff, but I don't think this truck has the balls to make it up that hill. So, 
I'm just gonna try and uh, reverse gear here and just fucking fire it down the hill like a boss. No problems. Fuck that package. Sure, there we go. Hello? There we go. For some reason I lost control. Now apparently I can come up the back way and grab that one. Maybe that'd be easier. Maybe I'll try that. But, I did just pick up a package, so apparently I can go buy a hop-up for my truck. If I wanted one. So let's go back to the beginning. We'll grab a hop-up for the truck. Um, or not. What the hell's going on with my engine? For some reason I got like no speed. Yeah, this game is, um, kind of interesting, I will admit. So, right now we can get a cabin spoiler. Oh, yeah! I really want to get this. You gotta deliver seven packages for it. Oops. Oh, yeah, look at this badass now, eh? Look at this sexy bitch. Oh, frig yeah. Oh, what gear am I in? I don't know why I'm having problems accelerating. Did I break something? It says I'm in neutral. Any packages down here to pick up? There is. Like an in-cabin view would be really nice. Okay, we need to stop. I need to put her into balls low. Just crush a couple trees, no big deal. And now we'll try and get out of here without rolling the truck. Oh shit. Yeah! No, I think it was this way I need to go. The warehouse. We'll put her into auto gearbox mode because we're on a highway. And we will punch it, Chewy! Oh, there's another box there. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Well, then again, there might be warehouses everywhere, so we'll just keep an eye out for warehouses. I just realized that engine tension was sitting in the red. Probably... Ooh, that didn't sound good. Probably got to keep an eye on that engine tent. There's a garage. Holy fuck, I just went around the world. That's what I just did. I think. Maybe not. I guess. You're fucking all a bunch of sand, too. Yeah. So we'll stop that. I'm going to put her in balls low. Now, like I said, the last time I played this game, I did actually wreck my transmission. like right now, I'm wrecking this guy's front yard. Fuck him. So that's two packages delivered. Let's see if we can get a third. This is one just up this hill. This is the hill that 
I literally did go around in circles. Yep, I'm pretty sure that that's all it is. The map is like one tiny little map. And I totally went around in circles. Oh well, not a big deal. At least the ground regenerates back at the, uh, the place there because um, if it didn't... I have no idea how the hell I get out of here. But my only complaints about the game is the night time. It would look a lot better during the day. And my other complaint about the game is the fact that you can't sit in the cabin and drive. But other than that, it's, it's a fun little corny game that they're still working on, so they're probably going to put more junk into it than what they have now. But, um, yeah, it's not a bad little game. It's kind of fun. I don't know if you can use a steering wheel with it. I'm probably going to get asked that question. Uh, honestly, I only, only controls I saw were the ones that were listed when I logged into the game. So, we'll go check the garage right now because uh, it's telling me to. Also, I don't know how, if there's any other levels besides this one here. Like I said, it's still in beta, so this is probably just their quick release to see if there's any, uh, you know, any talk about it, any any play on it. But once again, I will put the link in the description. So if you want to give her a go and uh, give it a try, it's a fun little game, a good little time vampire. And uh, I don't know, I think it's pretty neat. It's pretty small too. It's actually not that big of a game. I think it was like 46 megs downloaded. So. There's not really much to it on the internet side of downloading, and not too much, not really much to it to installing on your computer. Oh shit! Did I just blow something? I should probably take off diff lock, eh? Ah, that's better. Driving around four by four high. She's a ratty old truck. Just a ratty old truck. Alright, let's see what we got for here. So we have any trucks? Ooh, we can have the Kraz. Oh, frig yeah. Add ons. Kraz platform. That's it. I don't got anything else. I can't even have a cabin spoiler. Oh. Oh, this thing's like, it looks like a military truck, eh? That's kind of neat. Hopefully it gets a little less stuck. Actually, you know what? No, leave it there. And let's go see how this thing handles. Holy shit, she is all over the place. gonna be interesting. This thing handles really weird. Let's go off road with it. Oh fuck. Oh, oh, wasn't taking out that tree. One thing about this thing is it crawls through everything. <coughs> Let's go down this dirt road and see what we find. Gotta be some packages around here somewhere that I need to pick it up. That's a lake. And a package in the lake. Well, let's see how well trucks can swim. Yeah, 
this thing is not happy right now. I don't even know if I'm getting close enough to it. We got it? Come on, buddy! Yeah, buddy! I bet you that other tank, um, the other truck that you can get, the one that's a tank, I bet you it just floats on the water. Kind of like those Argos. You guys, anybody who's watching this who actually does this kind of stuff for fun, like off-roading, is probably watching this going, holy fuck, what a noob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right, I am, that's true. Oh, you can't start in that gear. I'm gonna have to keep her in load just to get out of here. I'm just gonna switch her into, uh, four-wheel drive high. I can do it now. Cause if I could walk on water, I wouldn't need a truck. Um, probably be easier to go this way, actually. Oops. Oh, did I just hang her up on the fucking street light? But the gearbox controls are pretty neat. Like, you have your... Open diff, closed diff, 4x4, high, low gear, automatic for those people who don't want to shift. I don't think the option to shift is available. Maybe not in this revision, maybe in a later revision if a lot of people say, Hey man, give us the right, the right to actually shift it. Because, you know, some people have pretty good equipment and would like to use the equipment to its maximum usage. So watch that engine meter. That engine tension, keep her out of the red zone because, uh, Put her into the red zone too long, she pops like a zit. Honestly, people, this is the most amount of packages I've ever delivered in my gaming life on this game. Oh, shit. It's hard to steal this one compared to the other truck. Oh fuck, I'm just peg-legging her. No way. Oh, come on now. There we go. I thought I just completely freaked over the program there with, uh, with getting stuck. Well, anyway, people, uh, I'm going to end this here little promo video here, just showing you guys this game. There's not really much to it. Like I said, right now it's still in beta. But uh, as they get further on in the game um, and development and all that, there'll probably be a lot more crap added to it. But it's still a fun little game if you want to dick around with it. You know, by all means, give her a go. And who knows, maybe you can find other ways to use it to have fun, like... Getting it super stuck and seeing if you can get it unstuck. Like, I'm fucking digging a trench right now. Like, farmers would be happy because they could plant some serious potatoes in the in the uh, shit I just made. Like, holy crap! Like, like, the graphics are pretty awesome. The way it's like plowing through the dirt. Kind of like that. Right now, this truck is running in. I think it's all four back tires are pulling. It could be actually running in six by six for all I know. But we're slowly getting there. Slowly getting to the road, just digging the biggest trench known to man. And don't worry people, the, the area does heal itself after you make a bunch of gaping holes. So, it doesn't happen right away, but it does happen over time. But you gotta admit, the graphics around the tires there, showing all the, uh, the ruts. Like if I hit one right now, it goes there. If I hit two, I'm outside the cabin. So I can take a look at the ruts I left, eh? That's kind of neat, you know, flashlight so you can like look around and stuff. And, like you're just hanging out your truck. So. Anyway, people, I'm going to pretty much end the video here, so if you like the uh, the game and you want to check it out and see what it's, see if it's something you want to play for a little bit, by all means, check the links in the description. And until next time, guys, 
Take care.